Okay, a review of uh, Peter Rabbit 2. I actually just got done watching this like last week or something. It's my grandma. Um, I'd say it's okay for the most part. Here, I didn't like... Um, I did like... I'd say I didn't like the second one that much here just because... Um, it was too... Um, not, I didn't think it was that much good here. Um, I'd probably give it a 9 out of 10 here just because it was the story was not that good in the movie here. It's basically a, uh, a kind of a liar reveal story, which I kind of hated it. Um, the villain is supposed to be a villain. The villain is supposed to be a good guy for the half of our half the part of the film and then he's a bad and then he turns to a bad guy and like the end half part of the of the film here essentially this the ending is basically that um the Peter Rabbit's crew um uh get the dry fruit back it's basically essentially from the fire's murder yeah it's basically Spray fruit is basically essentially uh, for anybody that doesn't know what dry fruit is. It's basically a uh, fruit that never grows, that um, never goes bad. It's basically what it is here. Um, uh, so yeah, um, I'd probably give this a 9 out of 10 here. Um, the ending is that they get the they try to get it back and then also they have to get all of their friends back because all their friends were gone were going sent to the pet shop and also being sent to being getting adopted by other peoples in the country by different by different states here it's kind of a good movie, so yeah, I uh, give it a 9 out of 10. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, too, so yeah, uh, peace.